Hi there. So what I've got going on here is um, two things. Firstly, BRSO Articulate by Blake Robinson and MIDI Shapeshifter by Rob. Uh, Rob's a guy I've talked to a, a little bit. We've had a discussion on getting something done in FL Studio that I was asking Gull to do for a long time and he was quite reluctant to do it. But with these two tools, we've come a long way. So in case you didn't know, BRSO Articulate done by Blake Robinson. This is absolutely fantastic for when you've got a plug like uh, Ample Bass or any other that's got a whole bunch of key switches. And what it, what it allows you to do is map different key switches to MIDI channels. And what you can do is you can name them and give them note icons, whatever you want to. But up here in the in the piano roll, you can see that all of these different key switches, which correlate to the key switches down here in Ample Bass, are actually mapped to MIDI notes. So what I'm going to do first is play this loop. This is just a normal bass loop with Ample Bass. It's not doing anything special. And in my second pattern, as you can see, I've started placing notes that actually use the key switches. So that sounds like this. Now you can see the key switch is moving around down here as it plays over the notes. It's much better than having to go down here and place on C0, F0, all these notes. And I think if, if I'm right, Blake has described that what happens is is that one of the, when one of these notes gets played, it actually sends the key switch as the first MIDI event, so it's always on for the start of the note. Which is great because it means you can start playback halfway through something and it's always going to catch these key switches that don't have to be on the start of the note. Now this is actually quite well known, well I'd say well known is not actually that well known, but anyone who's serious about using libraries that has key switches, they should be looking into how uh, BRSO Articulate works. It's just absolutely amazing. Uh, there are so many settings and things you can do inside this plugin. It's, if I if I recall Blake's word is meant to replace the MIDI out of FL Studio and he's used the FL SDK to develop it so it's fairly well integrated you can see that it comes with this little MIDI out plug right in the rack as well so the special source is what I've been working on with Rob and what I was working on with Rob well I looked across the internet for anything that would do what I wanted to do and it's been years since I looked at anything and MIDI Shapeshifter looked like the right tool. So I got in touch with the developer, Rob, on his forum and said, this is what I want to do. Do you think MIDI Shapeshifter can do it? We had a few back and forths and eventually he came up with a few algorithms inside MIDI Shapeshifter, which I've further developed on. And what I've actually done is I've hijacked uh, MIDI channels 13 to 16 to play different dynamic bend notes. So 13 is synced and does a, the time period is 1 16th and f uh, yeah, you got 14 1 8th, 15 1 quarter and 16 a half note. And you can see that I've used BRSO to come and name them as well because what I've got going on here, this chain in fact is firstly BRSO is contains the MIDI information. Uh, it's outporting on port 2, uh, which is sending that on to MIDI Shapeshifter, which is outing it to 3, and of course 3 is what's being picked up by Ample Bass. So here's the final example. So this contains all of the articulations from Ample Bass, and all of these blue notes are the bends that I've actually programmed and it's actually a fairly smart thing as well. It's What it's doing is it's, it actually recognizes the, the last note that's been played 
holds it in memory, and then if it discovers one of these messages on one of these four MIDI channels, it knows it's not a note to be played, but it means that you want to bend, and of, of course it bends the note upwards or downwards by 12 semitones, so you have a full octave up and down. And the time of the slide is described by which one you use, obviously one sixteenth, one eighth, one quarter, or one half. And here's how that sounds. And here you can see all the MIDI data. Articulation is being played, and you can also see the pitch bend wheel being manipulated by those slide notes on MIDI channels 13 to 16. And now what I'm going to do is stop that. <coughs> I'm going to unhook this from port 3. I'm going to put my Jupiter on at port 3. As you can see, the only thing you need to really do is make sure whatever plugins you're using are adjusted for 12 semitones because, like, there it's automatically in this patch put it to 24, which is no good. And most of the patches on most things will default to plus or minus 2 semitones. But you can do that yourself in any patch. What I'll do is I'll bring this down to pattern 1. Uh, this pattern I was just putting in to make sure that the the values that Rob has, Rob has programmed in in MIDI Shapeshifter actually work out properly. So there's a whole bunch of test tones followed by slides to the same tones to make sure that it's shifting to the exact pitch that work that is asked for. <laughs> So that's it, there you go. BRSO plus MIDI shapeshifter. And this particular patch, which is in the hands of one person right now, me. Rob helped me make the basic one, and I've developed it so that it actually works with four different timings. And I put them on the last four MIDI channels so that anyone who wants to use BRSO for articulations in their orchestras and whatever can still do that up to 12. But yeah, slide notes in FL Studio for any VST plugin. And um, <coughs> the kind of things you need to look out for on when you're handing off is, for example, in Ample Bass, you need to set the pitch bend range to 12 and you also need to send uh, poly bends as well not because you want to poly bend notes but if you're using articulations like in example like in the third pattern if you're using these articulations of course part of the magic of BRSO is that if you if you want to play a, a slapped note then you color it yellow and it's playing a G3 but it's also sending before that the <coughs> the eighth articulation, which would be it's sending a G zero as well. So if you don't put uh, that poly range in ample bass, then it, it might, and you try and play a bend on it, it might think that the last note that was sent was the the art, the key switch of C zero, and it won't.
bend properly. Even then it's still a bit, well, you know what. Anyway, that's as far as I've got today. Hope you like.